Hey everyone, welcome back. While the 3DS may be quite old now, it has not stopped homebrew developers from teaching it new tricks. Recently, a programmer named Zoe Jodan ported Moonlight to the Nintendo 3DS. This allows users of the Nintendo 3DS and the new 3DS to stream PC games to the aging handheld. That being said, the developer does not recommend using the original 3DS, so we'll stick to using the new 3DS. So let's dive in and start with a few demos, and then we'll talk about how it works. The first game I thought we'd take a look at is Portal. Overall, it seems very playable, and the new 3DS works pretty good as a controller. However, the first glaring issue with this setup becomes clear. The Nintendo 3DS screen is an incredibly low resolution, running at 400 by 240 which is 9.6 times smaller than 720p. For reference, this is the footage directly from the 3DS compared with a resolution of 720p. Here's the 720p footage, and again, here's the 3DS footage blown up to 720p. While most action gameplay won't be impacted, anything that relies heavily on text is, making menu navigation a bit tricky, especially if you're not familiar with the game. That being said, I did have quite a bit of fun playing Portal on the 3DS. I tried a few other games such as the obligatory Skyrim, Todd Howard, you've done it again, and Fallout New Vegas. Again, these are kinda silly to play on the 3DS, mostly to do with the unreadable text. Other games I tried were Night in the Woods, which was almost perfect, although some of the text was a bit tricky to read. Undertale is another great option on the 3DS, but... Again, the text can be a bit small, but for the most part, this game wasn't impacted. Finally, the last game I tried was Untitled Goose Game, which felt like it was made to play on the 3DS from the beginning. A few other caveats I noted was, the 3DS relies on 2.4GHz Wi-Fi, which has a very limited amount of bandwidth, at 54 megabits per second in ideal situations. And I live in a crowded apartment building, so a lot more noise, meaning you would either want your PC on Ethernet, or on a dedicated 5 GHz Wi-Fi link. In my case, my PC is hardwired. Secondly, I found the default bitrate setting of 10 megabits just too high, and it resulted in the app locking up my 3DS. I found 5 megabits per second to be much smoother experience, and more importantly, not locking up the app. I was able to play for over an hour without issues after I made this chain. Now you might be wondering, how can I try this? Well, I'm very glad you asked. First things first, you'll need a modded Nintendo 3DS. For information on modding, just give a Google search. I won't hold your hand here. You will also need to already have a decent gaming computer, a fairly decent home network with not too much network traffic in the 2.4 GHz band, on the software side, you'll need to install a Sunshine server on your gaming PC. This will allow you to stream games to the 3DS and other devices. Next, you'll need to install Moonlight NDS CIA on your 3DS. The developer has provided a QR code which you can scan with FBI to quickly install onto your DS. Once installed, you need to enter the IP address of your PC. On first connection, you'll be prompted with a code. You'll need to enter this into Sunshine to complete pairing. Once that's done, your PC and 3DS will be linked. And all that's left to do is fire up Steam Big Picture Mode, or in this case, Small Picture Mode, and enjoy the games. In conclusion, this is all a bit of fun. The limitations of the 3DS are quite obvious, particularly the screen resolution. Despite this, if you have the time, I do encourage you to check out Moonlight on the 3DS. Alternatively, you could just get a joypad for your phone and do the same thing, but that's not as cool now, is it? Thank you very much for watching. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do, please leave a comment. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. And don't forget to check out some of my other videos. See ya!